the best part of last episode was when Baro decided this isn't a 4v4, bro. This is a 1v7 and him stealing the ball from Isagi actually counters Rin because Rin can't predict something so ridiculous like this. I love Baro. Now, I think Bachir is going to pop up because so far, he's just been observing Rin and Isagi and be like, oh my god, they're so amazing. And then they, there was that one scene where they passed by and he's like, oh shit, I got to actually do something too. Let's begin today's reaction. What's the score now? 4-3. One more and it's over, but I doubt that we're going to lose. It just doesn't make Makes sense and yet and Bachira still hasn't done anything yet see look look he's gonna probably pop off this episode let's go that king and donkey setup let's go oh my god this toddler <laughs> why is he so strong <laughs> yeah it's so creepy when you start moving and sounding like that <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're so terrifying, but it's like Yes, again. Good job, donkey. Watch it up. Rinse behind too. Please don't leave me behind. He really feels like he's getting left behind. Yeah, Chigiri might be open, maybe. Chigiri, Chigiri's there. Who else could be the open man? See, you're gonna hear the, the sonic... <laughs> Whenever Chigiri starts running, I love the sound effect. It's like an airplane taking off. And then... Off the border, right? Okay, okay, okay. Rin still saw through it, I think, maybe. Isagi, goal! Come on, come on, come on. But I feel like Rin's gonna somehow stop all this. Yep, there he is. Come on, bro. Stay focused. Uh, yeah, he's just a little bit better than us. Come on. Die. Come on. Come on. Anyone else? Anyone else here? Oh, don't give up like that. Oh, he actually gave up at the end, bro. Come on. Never mind. Not. Wait, this is all part of his plan, bro! Why did you have to monologue and trick us, too? <laughs> okay, so I think he, like, cut inwards. A pass? Maybe? Or maybe he's just gonna shoot it backwards! Wait, I was gonna compare him to a donkey because the donkey would also kick back like that, too, right? Alright, we should call this the reverse donkey kick. <laughs> Holy shit, he actually outplayed Rin there. Yeah. Okay, but that was that one instance. Can we do it again? And Baro never gets in on the, the the celebrations, right? Even if we try to go for high five, he's like, fuck off. Yeah, pretty much. A little bit of plarmer there. Hey, but it worked. Come on, it worked. Rin still got something cooking. He's not panicking at all. And Bachira, look. He's still just like... Not doing anything. He's a, he's about to pop off, right? That's what I'm worried about because this is 4-4 now. If he starts popping off, then logically, he's going to score. And if he does, then we lose. Everybody's so focused on their own paths. And then Bachira still... Still, like, doesn't know what to do. Bro. Okay, okay. I thought he was gonna shit on us, but like, I, I would hope that he would take some kind of responsibility for taking some else too. The <laughs> I mean, that's how everybody sees to you. You're the girl looking prince so that's super fast. Okay. But Bachira should still be around somewhere. Hmm? Mr. Glam. Mr. Glam vs. Nagi, what a crazy height difference. What? He, okay. Okay. Mr. Glam's reach. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's Bachira? Okay, here he is. Now, what's he gonna do? Can he rise up to the occasion or is he just gonna be like intimidated? Because right now, he's in a bit of a rut. Look at this hesitation. He shouldn't be thinking about this. No. What do you want from you? 
What is up with all this doubt, dude? Bro, you gotta figure that out yourself. Cause see, Rin and Isagi keeps moving forward and Bachi is getting left behind. Maybe it's time for a flashback. See, he keeps worrying about how other people need to acknowledge him. And then Chicken just came out torpedoed him. Yeah, this is really not like you. On purpose? Huh. I mean, that's what we were thinking about. But that's kind of true. Like, I would kind of want to take Rin right now. What has Bachira done all game so far? Not really anything. Shit. Uh-oh. Bachira better step up if he wants to get picked. Yo. That could definitely happen. Pretty much, you're gonna get the, the rail treatment and get left behind. Man, seeing Bachira like this sucks. He's gonna evolve though, right? Look! You gotta hit your low point and you gotta come back. Remember, even King Baro had a moment where like, maybe I was the king after all, and then he popped off. I'm just waiting for that moment with Bachira now. I wish that Izagi was still called Baro Donkey. Yo! The anti combo between Faro and Isaki. It's nice to see them just pair up like that. But just still lagging behind though. Yo, there's not much time. Bro, you gotta pop off right now. But if he pops off, then we might lose. So he's gotta pop off to a point where he redeems himself, but we still win somehow. Oh, he's such a softy. Oh, he doesn't want to lose his friends. I wonder if that's the proper mindset to have. Like, this is great that he values the friendships and everything because of his past, about being so alone. But if he's not thinking about becoming the best striker and saying, fuck the friends, all that matters is me. I wonder if that's a good thing. That's so real, mom. Dude, the mom is like... <laughs> this shit's way too real. When you're a kid, you have all these different dreams and that's what the monster represents. But then when you grow up, the crushing weight of society makes you just <laughs> submit to society and then you kind of forget about all these dreams and you just act like a cog in the wheel that we call society. That's so sad. <laughs> Come on, don't give up. You're way too young. I want to trust. There's the fist. Okay, he's back! Okay, his face is totally different now. Oh. Is it gonna end in this shit? No. Go, go, go! Direct shot! End it, come on! But if we end it right now, what about Bachira? He still hasn't really done anything. Maybe... Maybe we're supposed to leave him behind here. I don't know. There's no way the goalkeeper stops this, right? Uh, uh. Holy shit, this guy! Wait, wait! I He's built different. He's built different. Why should I might get the ball now? Oh shit! Everybody's pushed up. Solo. He's going. Uh oh, but if he does that, he... but we're gonna lo lose. But we can't lose. I am so conflicted. I I don't know anymore. He's trying to... Okay, the monster is almost like his... I mean, it basically is his imaginary friend, but I, th I feel like we're going to a point where Bachira needs to, like, um, rely on himself. Like, he needs to move forward. And the monster existing kind of, like, represents how he keeps hanging on to his past. And then he's trying to, like, again, listen to his real voice, his true voice. So if the monster disappears and he can still be happy with it, then he'll have moved forward or something like that. I don't know. Bye, monster! What's well, a different eye, though? No, our imaginary friends! Oh, he's like he made it back while he was busy monologuing. I'm, I'm so confused about this, like... 
the representation or like the symbol of what this monster is supposed to be but it's supposed to be like his friends you know he never had friends and he had the monster to play with but then now he made isagi and now he's the monster but then rin is actually the monster too he doesn't know which monster to pick and there's also his like imaginary friend monster and i'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> Come on, Bachida. Come on, you don't have time to be monologuing, bro. It's a fast break. There you go, there you go. That's right. Solo Dribble King, that's who you are. Oh my god, his eyes are glowing like the Avatar State. But this isn't good for us. If he does this, then he might actually win. I just wanted it to be a point where Bachida is able to move forward, overcome his, like, I don't know, his mental block with having to imagine the monster all the time. Exactly, just being egoist. There you go, there you go. I want him to, like... <laughs> Bar, you can't just grab his shoulder like that. But if he can get over this, but also somehow we win, I think we both win then. Holy shit, this control. <laughs> A triple nutmeg! Or maybe Bachira really does end up winning, and he takes Isagi, and then Isagi gets put on the new team with Rin? I don't know, fuck! <laughs> Why are you there right now? But he won't pass. I don't think he'll pass. Bachira is in a Kobe mentality right now. He's like, no. Fuck passing. Only me. Oh my god, Bachira. Were you always like this? Yo! He's not a soft little boy anymore. What the fuck? This might be the craziest solo dribble session so far. So if you can devour Bachira right now, you'll win. His eyes! His eyes! Bro, the ball's in midair and he's still like doing crossovers in midair. <laughs> what is going on? He's moving so fast! Bro is having an entire flashback of his past in these fractions of seconds where it's like 3v1. Oh my god, Bachira. Oh, he did have his little tongue out thing in the first episode, I think, in Blue Lock. It's fine. It's fine because you have yourself. That tongue out like that is kind of funny, I don't know. Hey, it's great though that he figured it out. Are you allowed to just grab people's shoulders like that in soccer? Like, you can't just physically, you know, pull. What? Dude did like a 720 spin. This is a very artistic scene of Bachida having an entire monologue of his and getting over it and just to like a 1v4. But, like, we can't lose here. We can't lose here, right? Bro, we can still be friends! Come on, stop saying bye-bye! <laughs> He's not actually gonna score. This will be crazy plot twist if Bachira actually ends up scoring. And then... They take Isagi back or something? Bye-bye, monster! He's awakening! Oh my god, what are those eyes? Ah, shit. Like... This is a goal, isn't it? Never mind! Bro, how are you gonna stop that after you built that up for like 10 minutes of him monologuing? <laughs> Yo, they really made Bachida go through an entire flashback of his life, spent like 10 minutes in this solo dribbling session, building up the hype for him to score, and he's like, he's like, nah, 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 you're not the main character, stop right there! I actually thought that Bachida might win, and then take Isagi back, but no. Plot-wise, it doesn't make sense for us to lose here, but wouldn't it be the craziest twist if we took Rin next episode rather than Bachira? I don't know. I think it would be, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.